Alright, well, here we go. Uh, there's no screws in it, so let's see what we've got. Now, I know for a fact these things have got a weird wow. ribbon cable. So, you've got to be really careful with that. I'm not sure. What the heck is that chip that, there? I believe that's called the ULA. It's the, it's the combined logic for um, uh, most of the, 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 the glue logic. For that's it. a Z-Log, isn't it? That's the Z80, yeah. So uh, you've got your RAM. I believe the RAM's down here. So that's your RAM, that's your CPU. CPU, what, what the would glue that logic, be? and uh, uh, the, well, the ROM. The ROM. So that's the ROM. Well, it's uh, not socket at. So to upgrade it, you need to put a socket if there was a ROM upgrade. Uh, and, uh, yeah. That PSU injury. is so nice and but simple. But you already need to use an adapter, does, don't you? It's, um, I think it's 19 volts uh, in. So, um, I would believe that most of the time, having an external power brick would be the best uh, option. The, well, the it's labeled, ground? It's labelled here. You've got 5 and negative 5. Oh! Uh, I, haven't, I, haven't got, we... I haven't had a close look, but these uh, these uh, RAM chips will probably need uh, negative, negative 5. five. Oh, so uh, it's only running on 5 so volts. Spectrum, spectrums were the same. They, There's they, not they... 12 volt or 9 volt on this board whatsoever. Uh, <coughs> because it has well, ground. Well, no, because 12 volts is usually fans, motors, uh, external control devices. But there is you, there is this wiring here which is coming... Ooh, uh, that's from the, the power wire. Uh, I might try and see if I can disconnect this. We'll see. Okay. We'll see this. So I'll just... It's just a, a pin array, so... Alright. Try and gently... How do I... I'll just do this from this side. Alright, alright. I'm going to try to find an angle to show how not to remove a keyboard so, from an acorn. That's your first time anyway, isn't it? Uh, yes. Mm, that's what she uh, said. <laughs> it's not something that I would like to... Connection to, type. Yeah, to, to, uh, to have to get ripped. It looks like it'll rip easy, so I wanted to be careful. So. Okay, so like the board is built really sturdy. Like it's, it's sturdy, looks pretty good. I love it. Simple as hell. Would you say this is as simple as Spectrum? Because I never really had... The, spectrums a really are, the Spectrums are pretty much the same. Um, they have a, a single control user port. Uh, they don't have a DIN plug for the um, for the tape deck on the on the original units. I think they just have the um, RCA mm -hmm. um, or, or the, um, the tape jacks. Okay, uh, uh, and that is what does it say? Out and return. Uh, that says it says 18 volts AC. So this will be for controlling. So part, oh. part of the external port will be to control things um, like robots or, or or external devices, and they'll have their own power that can yes. be controlled with relays uh, from this. So if you had a project or something, because a, a, a lot of the books from the uh, early 80s that I, I used to read were things like how to build robots or, or little remote controlled, uh, you know, balsa wood uh, robots. The reason you have a higher voltage um, uh, uh, that is then rectified is, is that you can, um, you can better create a stable 5 volts for the localized area of the board instead of having it say rectified at the power brick then going through a plug then going through a bunch of connectors and things the longer the, the power has to travel the more loss you get along that so naturally the closer you rectify the power to the board would be the best option which is why this PCB is in here alrighty I mean thank you for showing this unit for me and for the guys who were brave enough to sit it and wait out the end of this uh, hope you liked it. Please let us know and keep up the retro. Cheers.